Hey Taurus, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general tarot reading for mid to late September 2022. We're going to see what's happening with you guys. Um, please do like, share, comment, subscribe if you enjoy these readings and you want more. All the information is in the description box. Okay. Um, if you want a personal tarot reading for yourself, I do them video recorded again or an Etsy message. Bonus extended is up on Vimeo. All right, Taurus, let's see what's going on. This could be a love-based romantic connection. It could be a business partnership, family connection, friendship. All right, take it how it resonates. All right, Taurus, the biggest challenge for you guys, what's going on this week in Taurus's energy, Taurus's life, Taurus's love life, what's going on? All right wands knight of wands okay so taurus maybe you're dealing with a fire sign leo sag aries the challenge is to get something moving so it makes me feel like is someone not inspired is someone not as passionate as they were before so maybe you're dealing with someone who came across as like i'm all in i really want this you know this could be someone here who's very physically attracted to you there was great vibes great chemistry a lot of passion uh, but that's the challenge now so it almost makes you feel like maybe um, it has died, right? Maybe there's been some kind of change where perhaps this connection isn't moving forward anymore. Someone here can also be a hothead with that Knight of Wands, okay? Or just very, like, fickle in and out. Very uncertain. You don't know what you're getting. In the past, we had the Eight of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Four of Cups. So in the past, it definitely feels like someone was holding back. Someone was in their head about something. And it feels like they could have pushed the other person away with the four cups. So I do feel like there may have been an argument, a fight. Someone here may have not been honest with something. But the five of swords is dishonesty or lies being in denial of something here. And it just feels like it really... Um, stop this from moving forward again the eight of swords can be stopping you in your tracks right mentally but also physically so when i see the four of cups there could have been a missed opportunity could have been a rejection or someone saying you know what i don't want this i'm not interested okay so it feels like someone here may have been thinking about something too much or overthinking right eight of swords keeping themselves tied up in a situation that they didn't want to be or it could have been a lot of negative thoughts about a situation that may have led to the downfall and breakdown of the connection okay so give me the current energy taurus six of swords knight of swords three of wands and reverse now i will say that there, it could be there could be some kind of communication coming through with the knight of swords this could be someone here wanting to speak things out let's talk about it there's a lot that has been left unspoken you got the wrong idea there is a misunderstanding right so the six of swords is telling me that someone wants to have a conversation about how to make this work how to move away from some kind of conflict six of swords let's make peace let's move past this right this hurdle this dilemma so i really feel like someone does care enough to want to fix this um work towards some kind of resolution let's get along but it feels like it's coming in after a long period of time tour so you may feel like well i am i'm not even waiting for you anymore right oh i moved on three of wands in reverse it feels like maybe at one point you put your life on hold for this person but it got to a point where maybe it wasn't worthwhile anymore so um it makes me feel like has someone already decided you know what i'm done this could be a fire sign leo sag aries or gemini libra aquarius on your mind in your energy seven of cups came out in reverse six of pentacles and eight of cups so yeah i do feel like taurus a lot of you guys are emotionally walking away cutting ties with something because you know you deserve better the six of pentacles in Implying that a lot of you, you want reciprocity, you want equal give and take, you want equality, uh, equality within a connection or partnership. And it feels like maybe you are now seeing past the confusion. The seven of cups in a verse, a lot of you are at a point where it's like, I don't want confusion in my life. It, this should not be so complicated, right? I'm not asking for too much. So when I see the Seven of Cups in a verse, a lot of you, you're sorting out the confusion in your life or with regard to this connection, and you're going toward what you want. You, you, you're wanting Six of Pentacles to be treated fairly. You want someone who is ready to invest fully in you, who will make the connection a priority. So if you're not getting that, the Eight of Cups is like walking away from that. You know, I'm not going to give you my heart. I'm not going to stay here and allow you to hurt me or set me back. So give me the energy of this person. 
Taurus, they have big decisions to make, right? Two swords, they're definitely in their head about you. This is someone who may feel like they're at a crossroads, but a decision has to be made. So when I see the two swords in reverse, I do feel like your person, Taurus, is actively making a decision. And it's it's easier said than done, right? There's a two of swords, crossroads energy, choosing between two different, two very different things. Um, Ten of Wands is here. Four of Wands and the Justice in reverse. So... Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely seeing a situation here where it feels like something is very heavy. It feels like your person may feel like, well, let me let me hold back because Taurus is, is uh, it feels like something's difficult. So either, you know, you're at a point of I'm done breaking point and it feels very difficult for your person to come in now. Ten of Wands could speak about that, but also the emotional baggage of something here from the past. OK, Four of Cups is definitely telling me there was some kind of disappointment or sadness. However, in your person's energy, Taurus, I really like to see it, the four wands. So this could be a twin flame. This could be someone who actually wants peace and harmony in the relationships. They may want to come together and bring some kind of unity to a family or a home. This could be reuniting on the home front, but also it's great for marriages, right? Wanting some kind of restoration toward a marriage, okay? I also feel like Taurus, this is someone that recognizes that I have to... <laughs> I have to go above and beyond to bring some kind of fairness or justice back to a situation. So when I see the justice in a verse, this is the energy of something being one-sided or feeling like, um, I, you know, they wronged you and knowing that they wronged you. So there could be an acknowledgement of their wrongs or like finally taking accountability, being held responsible, right? Um, the only thing about it is that the justice is in a verse. So it almost makes me feel like Taurus is this person going to come back and, you know, say they're going to compromise, but then actually don't go along with doing it. So that could be a concern, you know, making sure that it actually is fair in your eyes, but in their eyes as well. Or maybe it, in their eyes is fair, right? But you feel like, well, that's not, mm -mm, that's, that's not going to work for me. So let's see what the outcome looks like. The full in a verse. So there could be definitely an opportunity on horizon, but someone here may not be wanting it or may just want to know more information about what that opportunity looks like. Like, what am I getting into? If I was to pursue this with you, what would that look like? Right. Page of swords, finding out information, doing some investigative work, asking questions. Right. Nine of Cups, and I think that's important, Taurus, because you don't want to get involved with anyone, whether this is a new person or old person, until you know exactly what their intentions are, um, if they're really being honest, right, Page of Swords, are you being honest? And the Nine of Cups, you want to make sure that you're getting your needs met, you want to make sure in the end that you're going to be happy. You don't want to get yourself involved with something that isn't going to ultimately make you happy, and you're comp compromising your own happiness, right? So let's jump right in, Taurus. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Knight of Wands is the challenge for you guys. We're going to start there, okay? Knight of Wands, Leo Sag Aries. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is that the challenge, please? The Empress in a verse. So, Taurus, this could be your energy for sure. I do feel like you have not been being you haven't been treated the way you want to be treated and it feels like that's why something hasn't grown you may feel like you're not being cared for or nurtured in the connection you may also feel like this person is just again flaky in and out unreliable the knight of wands is a, a very youthful energy okay especially right next to the emperor so maybe you're dealing with a younger person or someone who's young-minded or immature in the past give me this five of swords or some kind of conflict or disagreement and we have the Ten of Swords in reverse and the Two of Swords. So there could have been a conflict or disagreement about making a decision. So it almost makes you feel like was someone indecisive? Was someone kind of choosing between two people? Two of Swords could be someone putting off making an important decision regarding you and them. And it could have been regarding an offer being offered here with the Four of Cups. So Taurus, maybe you offered something. Maybe you said, hey, let's do this together. Um, let's move forward with a relationship. And it feels like your person kept you stuck. It feels to me like someone was putting off making this decision. And so the Ten of Swords, you know, it feels to me like you may have gone through a really difficult ending in your past chores, maybe, or with this person even. Maybe this person has, and that could be what their issue is with regard to making this decision. Someone has some kind of past history that has kind of made them feel like, well, I don't know. I don't want to jump into this too quickly. So because the Eight of Swords is telling me there's some fears. Okay. Yeah. The Hangman. And, you know, whatever happened in the past, it feels like it's sticking with someone to the point where it's like, 
they're not so willing to jump into something or they're not as open-minded as they could be because eight of swords is telling me there's something that someone is thinking or overthinking a situation that oh it's not gonna work it's not gonna be the best idea for me oh it's gonna result in this and that's not necessarily true it's just them overthinking something in their head so it could have resulted in the four of cups it could have made you feel like taurus this person didn't really want you the high priest um in reverse this could be also this is that commitment card her font so it feels like Taurus, you could have felt like this person just wasn't ready to commit. There may have been some serious commitment issues with that energy. You may have felt like this person just um, wanted to have fun, Knight of Wands, right? Have fun and just not really settle down. And so you may have mistook it for something else, right? Oh, this person doesn't want me. They don't want to commit. I'm not important to them. But give me the energy of the Knight of Swords. There is some kind of communication coming through. I want to find out what that's about. Seven of Swords in reverse and the Six of Cups in reverse. So this is interesting. I definitely feel like this is someone that you have a long-standing history with. There is a soul connection of some sort. But even with that said, it feels like your person took you for granted. I mean, the Six of Cups is like memories of the past, precious times, experiences. Maybe you guys were like high school, college sweethearts. But when I see the Seven of Swords next to it, it feels like your person betrayed you or they lied to you. They deceived you in some way. And so there could be some confession about that. It also feels like this is someone here who could be telling you or coming coming clean or being honest about them going back to a past person, maybe an ex or a past lover. And that Seven of Swords could be that, you know, that's something they hid from you. So give me the energy of the Six of Swords regardless of the energy of having to make peace with it. Um, but it's not going to be easy because we have the Illusion card. So is someone creating illusions? Is there something here that has to be um, has to be revealed, right? Um, the moon, this is like the moon card, right, in tarot. And so it feels like there could be a secret being exposed. It could be this person coming clean, letting you know something that they didn't tell you. And it could be, you know, you maybe you don't know what to do after that. So the Six of Swords, in order for you guys to make peace with the past, someone has to clear up the illusions, um, bring some kind of clarity to the connection, but also come clean, especially if they've been hiding something. Three of Wands in a verse, give me that energy. Queen of Swords in a verse. Some of you, you've been really waiting for this person to finally speak their truth. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, there's the energy, I'm going to wait for you. I'm going to wait for you to take that next step and come clean. Tell me where we stand. Give me the energy for Taurus. The temptation in the verse, the devil in the verse. This could be a Capricorn. We got Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces as well. Um, Queen of Rods. So, you know, there could definitely be a situation that you may have felt your person may have had a third party. Queen of Wands could be definitely a third party energy. Um, with the temptation card, maybe someone got themselves caught up with the queen of wands or a third party that they shouldn't have. I'm getting seductive or seduced in some way. Um, but there's something here about you walking away. Why is the eight of cups here? Seven of rods. It feels to me like a lot of you, Taurus, you really want this person to fight for you. It's like if you want me, you fight for me. You would defend me. You would be right there right by my side. You know, the seven of wands, you would protect and safeguard this connection. You would have protected me from this queen of wands for some of you guys. It may have felt like this person, you know, wasn't protecting you or defending you when you needed them the most. The devil energy in the verse definitely could be this person getting caught up with something that they shouldn't have. Obsessions. This could be addictions. And as a result, they weren't there for you. Give me the energy of the two of swords are making a big decision. And it could be regarding, ooh, a death and a justice card. Something has to change. There is an energy of change, much needed change. Justice could be a Libra. Um death card the clothes could be a scorpio it honestly feels like someone is willing to transform their way of thinking the way they're they perceive things especially if in the past they have been unfair because you know this is what they brought you and i think taurus are now realizing that i can't do that because the ten of wands is here and the, and the death card so this is the energy of i need to be willing to change to do things differently it's not going to happen overnight ten of wands could speak about you know some setbacks but the justice card is that i want to do right I want to be the person you need him to be. I want to come and meet you halfway. I want to compromise. I want to do everything I didn't do right in the past. In effort to bring the four of wands, harmony, stability in the home. Not only that, we have ace of swords. Someone is willing to be honest. Maybe cut out something that isn't working for them. Come clean. There's honest. There's truth with the ace of swords. This is a new beginning. So someone is saying, I'm ready for this new beginning where I'm, I'm going to open up. I'm going to let everything, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you see my true self. Um, and there could be a lot of communication coming in about things they could have done differently. The wheel. So there's good change coming in. When I see the wheel card, 
as to how this person wants to move forward with you, Taurus. It's definitely telling me that there's change, faded change, okay, divine change, but the wheel is saying that things are moving in the right direction, right? Things are certainly going to bring good fortune for you and for the connection. So the Fool, there could be some hesitancy in moving toward this new beginning, King of Rods in a verse, especially if it's regarding a fire sign, there could be energy of like, let me put the brakes on it. Let me make sure because it feels like your person has to show you, right? The King of Wands in a verse, sometimes he, he says things, but he doesn't actually show it. He doesn't, he doesn't push through with things or he may give you the idea that I'm going to do this, but then he doesn't, right? There's an the energy of like, and just not no, not showing up, right? Or not really um, holding up their end of the bargain. So when I see the Page of Swords, the energy of finding out more information, uncovering of truth, okay? And the guide, I like that. So this is that um, temperance energy. So take your time, Taurus. It's not going to happen overnight. You're not going to fix this connection overnight. The temperance is also being patient with your person, allowing them to show you. But again, it's not going to happen overnight. So there's the energy of like, doing things in moderation, allowing this person to rebuild your trust, right? Because the full universe is the lack of trust. So the nine of cups also, it feels like your person really wants to make you happy. So allow them to do that. But again, the temperance, stay cool, stay calm, stay collected, take your time and be patient with this connection. Okay. All right. And it also feels like, again, the page of swords, this could be like you uncovering um, what this person really is about with time. It's not something that this person can come in and say, I'm going to do this and you believe them. Allow them to show you, right? And it happens over a period of time. So this could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. Taurus, that is what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading and take care. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'm sending you my love and blessings. Take care.